Mm -hmm. But what we were given to understand is that the the uh, opposition for this will be the coming in of Jamaat, which is something was concerning not just for the U.S. or, you know, maybe not for the U.S., but for India. So what could have been the solution? I mean, what I meant to say is that uh, was there a credible opposition too? Because we saw what's been uh, happening to the BNP too. Uh, I mean, you can really correct me, but what was the alternative really? The democracy is a very funny thing. You allow everybody to participate as long as he or she is not violating the law. So whether it's a Jamaat, whether it's a PNP, they are citizens of the country. They want to participate in election. They have the chance to participate in a legal way. Uh, they, they are not getting the chance. You're blaming them for this, blaming for that, make up all kinds of stories. Uh, the, uh, the government has become a kind of a factory of lie making. Uh, people see that through, that you do that. It become such a common feature of uh, how the government behave in a situation. So they were denied uh, participation. You blame them for this or so. If Trump can run in a presidential election, he says things, obnoxious things, but nobody says, oh, he should be denied to the right to uh, run in the election. Nobody says that this is his right. Whether people like it or not, it's up to the people to decide. You didn't get give any chance to people to decide whether they like Jamaat or not. You decided Jamaat is no good. That's the problem. You have to get back to the democratic process. Give them the freedom, every single citizen's freedom to express themselves, form their own political party, express themselves, as long as they follow, the, don't violate the law.